Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you how to navigate and use the general settings within the user entity settings tab. The general user entity settings encompasses all user specific configurations influencing their diary's presentation. These settings permit the personalization of diary features, visibility of booking details, VoIP setup and incoming call management. They are designed to cater to each user's unique access requirements at the entity level, ensuring the software's functionality aligns with the user's needs. Custom settings made in the user entity settings are exclusive to an individual user and do not impact others within the entity. It's important to note that the user entity settings take precedence over general entity and diary settings for the user in question. In the absence of user entity settings, the system reverts to the default entity settings. In this video, we will start on the diary screen. For a more comprehensive explanation of the features and sections covered in this video, please refer to the user manuals linked in this video's description. Click on the settings button at the top right of the corner to open the settings screen. Click on the user entity settings tab. The user entity settings screen will open. Next, click on the general settings panel. The general settings panel will expand. We will now take a look at the various fields and sections within this panel. VoIP settings pertain to voice over internet protocol or VoIP calls enabling users to place voice calls via an internet connection rather than a traditional phone line. Before your VoIP is able to work, complete the VoIP extension as well as the VoIP password fields to contain the relevant information. If you would like to allow incoming calls to your line, tick the allow incoming calls checkbox. Invoice settings enables users to customize their view of the invoice screen and configure actions that are automatically triggered when new appointments are made on a diary. Tick the auto booking on invoice option to automatically create a new invoice when an appointment is made on a diary. Click on the invoice action on new appointment drop down menu and select how the invoice screen will appear when opened from a new appointment. Activate the expand latest invoices on invoice screen checkbox to display history of past invoices for particular data. The medical history summary Offering an overview of the patient's medical history will automatically appear expanded on a clinical screen when the Enable Medical History Summary Auto drop-down on Clinical Screen checkbox is activated. Print barcodes allows you to set up how barcodes will print. Activate the print barcodes on invoice checkbox to enable barcodes for stock items dispensed on the invoice screen. Check the print barcodes on post checkbox to ensure that barcode stickers are printed once the invoice is posted. The default print quantity refers to the number of barcode stickers that will be printed simultaneously for each barcode. To set your preferred quantity, enter the amount in the default print quantity field. Medicine label settings allows you to print labels for medicine items that have been prescribed and billed on the invoice. Tick the enable printing on invoice checkbox to activate the option. Tick the receipt change calculator checkbox to enable change calculations when receipts are captured. Financial Setup allows you to set up the non-financial view. Activate the non-financial view checkbox to remove account detail information from all sidebars where applicable. The Practitioner Setup enables the customization of settings specific to the practitioner, including the configuration of EM guidance. Activate the Force Practitioner on Invoice option to require selecting a designated practitioner for all invoices associated with the user, essential for utilizing EM guidance on GoodX Web. To set the default practitioner for invoicing, click on the Please Select a Practitioner field and search for the relevant practitioner. To include a header on all clinical documents, click on the Add button in the Clinical Print Header section and upload the appropriate header file. The Service Center setup serves as the default location where patients receive treatment. Click on the Please Select a Service Center drop down menu to select the desired option. Service Center Setup options vary across practices with each customizing their service centers to meet specific needs. Tick the Cash Registers checkbox to grant control over whether a user has access to the cash register. Activate the Advanced ICD-10 on Invoice feature by checking the Open ICD-10 Builder for Advanced ICD-10 checkbox, enabling the use of the ICD-10 Builder on the invoice screen for streamlined coding. Clicking on a default data or patient searching field allows you to choose whether to search for the patients based on a data or patient's information when creating a booking. The Enable Express Data on Booking feature allows for automatic creation of a data when saving a new booking with patient details. Click on the Enable Express Data on Booking drop-down menu to either select the Use Entity Default, turn off for manual data file management or turn on for automatic data creation upon booking save. 
Diary Setup refers to all the settings that relate to the diary of the user. Enabling the Years Now instead of Guided Time Slot allows the diary to automatically update to the current date and time upon refresh. Click on the default task diary drop-down menu and select the diary to specify which diary task will be associated with upon creation. To select the default diary type, click on the diary type drop-down menu and make your selection. Click on the default diary rendering policy and sort order drop-down menu to select the default way that the diary will display. By ticking the Enable Clinical button on Bookings checkbox, you can add a clinical button to diary bookings, which facilitates quick access to clinical events. To customize this event, select the preferred clinical event from the Please Select the Default Event drop-down menu. Ticking the Swap Colors on Booking checkbox changes the primary color of bookings to reflect the booking type rather than the default booking status color. By ticking the Fixed Day Setup checkbox, you can choose a specific day of the week to start a multi-day diary review. Once enabled, a drop-down menu will allow you to select the desired day. To set the default number of days displayed on the multi-day diary review, click on the multi-day view days fields and enter the number of days you wish to see. In the multi-diary review diary settings, you can add or remove diaries to customize which ones are displayed by default in the multi-diary review for a specific user. Diaries marked as not visible will not appear, while those marked as visible will be shown. Please note that more than one diary will need to be set up in order to use the multi-diary review diary settings. To select which diaries will accept incoming calls, simply tick the appropriate checkboxes next to the desired diaries under the Accept Call-ins on the following diary section. Frequent mail recipients permits the addition of commonly utilized email addresses within your practice. These email addresses will be conveniently presented as shortcuts in the email workflow event template, facilitating quick access when dispatching emails from any system location. Tick or untick the preferred options to enable various features within the diary widgets, enhancing the functionality of the diary by incorporating them into its action bar. You can also tick or untick the desired options to enable various features and improve the functionality of the diary sidebar. The booking the patient is scheduled for can be customized to suit your practice's needs by ticking or unticking the desired booking field checkboxes. Once you are satisfied with the configuration, click on the Save button. 